Hey guys, what's up? My name's Taylor. Thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. So what we have here is the Diamondback Mason 1. It's a 2018 model and I just picked it up a couple days ago. Uh, I was looking for reviews and first impressions of this bike, but I couldn't find any. All the ones I was finding was on the slightly older uh, Mason Trail and Mason Pro. And while those share basically the same uh, frame with this bike, a lot of the components are different. So I figured I'd make a video and hopefully this helps potential buyers for this bike in the future. Um, the bike's not for me, it's for my little cousin. He's riding a Moto Beacon 450 HT right now. Uh, he's had it for about nine months and it's been a great bike, he loves it. But his skills are progressing to the point where I think he'd benefit from a more aggressive hardtail like this bike. So I'm gonna get some close-ups of the bike and then after that we'll go into my first impressions. Okay, so hopefully you like those close-ups. Now I'll go into the first impressions of the Mason 1. Uh, first thing that sticks out to me is I really like the paint job. It's kind of a slate blue uh, metallic color. And when the sun hits it, it just uh, shines really, really nice. Um, let's see, also weight. I thought it was gonna be heavier uh, just by first impressions. The big tires kind of give that beefy look, but it doesn't really feel that heavy. Uh, it's listed for at around 30 to 31 pounds, I think on Diamondback's website. So I know it's not the lightest, but it really doesn't feel too bad. Um, so I guess I'll jump into the front end and then we'll work our way back. Okay guys, so for the Mason 1, it runs a Suntour XCR fork up front. It's got a 15 millimeter through axle and it's a boost hub. It's got lockout, preload adjustment and 34 millimeter stanchions. Um, it's not the air version, it's the coil version. So obviously not the best fork out there, but for this price point, it's really not that bad. Uh, we're gonna run it as is, probably put it through its paces, and eventually if my cousin thinks that uh, he'd benefit from a uh, nicer air fork, probably upgrade. What's nice about this bike is it has a tapered head, which will make it much easier to go to a modern air fork in the future. Uh, it runs the Tektro Ares, uh, mechanical brakes in the front and in the rear. Um, I've heard decent things about them. Probably gonna upgrade those into the future uh, with like an entry-level Shimano hydraulic setup. But for now, we're gonna run them and just see how they do. All right, so now uh, let's go up to the controls and the handlebars and then we'll work our way back to the cog set. So for the handlebar and control setup, the Mason 1's running a Diamondback 60 millimeter stem it's running the DB35 bars. They're 760 millimeters wide with a 15 millimeter rise. It's also running the Tektro Ares alloy two finger front and rear brake levers. Uh, and it also has the Shimano M6000 Dior shifter for the rear cog set. Um, the grips feel pretty good. Riding it around the block felt good, but we'll see what my cousin thinks. And if he wants to make any adjustments, we'll change up some things, but we'll see. So. Now I'm gonna move to the rear of the bike and we'll go from there. All right guys, so the Mason 1 is running a one by 10 drivetrain. It's got a 32 sprocket up front and the Shimano HG500 10 speed cog set in the rear. Uh, range is from 11 to 42, so it's got pretty good range. Uh, should be plenty for my cousin to climb the hills around here. It's got the Tektro Ares mechanical disc brakes, just like the front. Uh, and it's got the M6000 Shimano Dior rear derailleur in the rear. It's got a boost hub in the rear um, and a nine millimeter quick release. 
Uh, it's not the 12 millimeter uh, through axle like the Mason 2. Uh, I believe the Mason Trail and Mason Pro had that as well. But this is a lower price point, and you know, I don't really think my cousin's gonna tell the difference. Um, there might be a little bit more stiffness to gain, or there is more stiffness to gain with the 12 millimeter through axle, but I still think the bike is definitely worthy of upgrades in the future. So now I'm gonna uh, kind of wrap it up and go over just like a summary of what I think about the bike. All right guys, so hopefully that was informative. Um, now I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the bike based off my first impressions. So would I recommend it? Uh, yes, based off my first impressions, I definitely would. Uh, for this price point, I picked it up for a little over $600 and change on Diamondback's website. I'm pretty sure they're still running that deal. Uh, for that price, I don't think you're gonna find anything uh, that's comparable to this. Um, I looked and, you know, some bikes would have like a couple of other things, but then they wouldn't have the others. Um, you know, for, for $600, you're getting an aggressive hardtail um, that, you know, might not have the best components in the world, but it's also not the worst. And it's definitely upgradable. Uh, one thing that really sold me on this was it has a, a pretty good drivetrain, might not be the lightest or the best, but this uh, Shimano uh, cog set and derailleur, the one by 10, everything I've heard about it has been super reliable and durable. Um, so that was a really big selling point. And also the tapered head, uh, which makes upgrading to a modern air fork super easy compared to if you had the straight head, like a lot of other bikes that are in this price point. And the brakes, they might not be great. I've heard mixed reviews, but that's also easily upgradable as well. So I would definitely recommend this for anybody that's just entering the sport uh, doesn't want to spend too much money to get a decent bike and could definitely see themselves potentially upgrading into the future This would be a great bike to go with or anybody that maybe has a really expensive full suspension bike already They want to get a hardtail don't want to invest too much and you know Maybe you're mechanically inclined or don't mind upgrading. This would be also a great option So hopefully this video helped you with your decision and uh, thanks for watching